So Fuzzy Felt is a toy that was invented by a lady called Lois Allen in the 1940s uh, when during the war she was making felt bags and felt uniforms but she found that kids liked playing with the offcuts and they would make the offcuts cling to the back of placemats, they would create images out of them and then they'd take those images apart and then they'd use the pieces again. Um, the first commercially available Fuzzy Felt was um, released in 1950 um, here's one of the earlier sets from the 1950s, but over the years, uh, Lois Allen became Allen Industries and created lots of different themes of fuzzy felt boxes. So over the years, lots of sets were released, and these are some of them. This is one of the inserts from one of the vintage boxes. Um, and inside a box of fuzzy felt, you'll find uh, an array of felt pieces of different shapes and different colours, usually quite vibrant. Um, depending on what the theme is. And the idea is that you have your backing board, these are some of the backing boards from some of the various sets, um, and you basically place the pieces onto the backing board, they cling like magic, and then you can take them off afterwards when you're done. So there's no waste, uh, and you can essentially make image after image after image using the same pieces. In 2020, I had a hysterectomy and just needed something to amuse myself with while I was laying on the sofa for a while. And so I bought this. I bought a box of Monsters Fuzzy Felt, 1970s, very evocative, nostalgic packaging, um, and just started playing with it. My husband would give me challenges throughout the day, like an underwater scene, an outer space scene, insects amoebas and I had fun doing it so I posted up photographs of the images that I created on Facebook and my friends started giving me challenges as well and this turned into films, bands, TV moments, you name it uh, and then a few weeks later I was cajoled into creating an Instagram account. So all of the images that I create are as a result of a request by one of you, by Instagram followers. Um, every request that I receive, I do put it on my list, although I can't promise I'll get to every single one. Um, I create an image most days. Um, I sit down after work for an hour as a wind down and, and fulfil one of the requests. Uh, and the way I choose one is just looking at the list and seeing what sparks joy at that moment. So if somebody requests something, and I'm excited by the request, I'll just fulfil it straight away. Whereas if something isn't as exciting, it might stay on my list for, for some time. Well, my process is when I'm going to start off as you felt, I'll think about it a bit and maybe do a bit of research if I'm not familiar on the topic. Um, and then I'll think about what to use. Um, I did start out just with one Fuzzy Felt Monsters set. And the challenge was to create something out of just the pieces that were available in that one set. That was quite limiting. So over the years, I have expanded a bit. Uh, so I now have about eight or nine sets that I routinely use. Um, because of that, I have now got a nice array of backing boards. So I will choose my backing board first. So depending on what the image is, I can find a, a board that's suitable. Uh, and then I'll just go ahead and start creating something. Um, I have my sets nicely organised so that I know where everything is. So there's like sets where I've got all the big shapes and sort of squares and some stuff that I would use as grass. Uh, there's a box where I've got all the kind of dots and stars and diamonds, things I use for eyeballs. Uh, these are all kind of legs and hands and things like that from the monsters set. And then there's a box where I've got all of my animals. Uh, regularly used as hair and other various things and I also have one compartment that is kind of it's full of just bits these are little bits that accidentally come off fuzzy felt but I use them as things like eyebrows um, there is also some sock fluff in there that is um, the only thing that I use that is not actual fuzzy felt um, but generally speaking apart from these little bits that come off by accident I never ever cut a piece out I have never cut a piece of fuzzy felt um, and I've obviously never used glue either. So true to the fuzzy felt saying, no scissors, no glue, uh, that's the ethos. Um, and still the challenge is to create a recognisable image just using the pieces provided. I'd say the most common question I get is whether people can buy 
an original, um, which is a funny question really because of the nature of fuzzy felt, there are no originals because once I have finished an image, um, I'll take a picture for Instagram, but then I'll just take it all apart so I can start using the pieces for the next image. So uh, yeah, there are no originals to buy, but um, you can find some prints and greetings cards on Etsy. Um, and I do do commissions as well. So if you wanted a fuzzy felt pet portrait or family photo recreating, or um, I've done some band portraits, album covers, single covers, that sort of thing, uh, you name it, get in touch and uh, I'll see what I can do for you. And um, yeah, if you don't see the print that you're after on Etsy, you can just let me know and I can get other images printed as well.